the uh, uh, second part of my brief remarks here has to do with my ideas about the critical theory archive. This again was a great Murray Krieger idea with some cooperation from Eddie Yevganhan, if that's the way you pronounce it, uh, who was at that point in charge of uh, archives in the library, somebody with great vision who was wonderful at, for example, uh, producing comprehensive bibliographies uh, from the internet and other sources for people giving uh, uh, giving the, uh, the well lectures every year. Uh, they uh, uh, all, all together got the idea of making Irvine not only a center for the teaching of uh, critical theory and the direction of dissertations in that area, but also as a place where the, the work of critical theorists could be archived. And that has produced a wonderful assembly of people, not by any means all in one area, including not only my own stuff and uh, Derry Dawes and Demands, but also Richard Rorty's materials and uh, Stanley Fish's materials uh, and other uh, materials, I'm sure. Uh, Derry Da used to talk about those big boxes that librarians have as a, a kind of row of tombstones for his work, but a, cr a critical theory archive is more than that. So, so just what good is uh, an archive of that sort. I think it has uh, several values. One, it's a place where people who are really interested in Stanley Fish or Richard Rorty or Demand can go and look at uh, papers which will fill out what they have uh, encountered in the published writings uh, so that they will have a better idea about uh, what the, that person was thinking and what he wrote. Uh, letters are a particular, particularly interesting uh, part of that. Uh, the second uh, value is a little harder to put your finger on. It's the Der Derrida, of course, wrote a book about archives called Archive Fever in the English translation, Mal d'Archive, uh, and he had a lot of uh, anxieties about the archive because any, any such archive is selective. It doesn't have everything. It makes choices. It determines to some degree, the future of the people who, whose work is collected in the critical uh, theory, in, the, in this case, the critical theory archive. Uh, and the, the, the cho choices, the issue of choice is interesting, I think, and important. What do you keep and what do you throw away? It's very hard to decide what little scrap of paper that appears to have no value at all may turn out to be an important clue to the thinking and writing of the person who is archived. The example from the Nietzsche collection that the editors decided was not worth keeping was a little note in which Nietzsche writes, I have forgotten my umbrella. Ich habe mein Regenschirm vergessen. I guess that's what it is in, in uh, German. And Derrida's argument is, how do you know that this is not a, a really important uh, clue? So a critical theory archive is a marvelous resource that uh, uh, gives an immense opportunity to understand further and I'm glad I don't have the responsibility for deciding that I've forgotten my umbrella is not uh, an important uh, note that ought to be kept. Mm -hmm.